Welcome everyone to this series on research and if you're new to this channel, I would suggest that you subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so that you'll be notified if there is any videos that is related to research that is uploaded in our channel. Now this is introduction to research. This is the first video in this uh, series and I hope that you'll be with me until the end of this lecture series. Now we will try to make this video as short as possible so that we will be able to compress all the data and information that is needed for you to understand the basic and overview of what the research is all about. Now, the topics discussed in this video is the definition of research or the definitions of research because there, there are a lot of definitions of research the purpose of research, the applications of research, and the different research paradigms. Now, we'll begin with definitions of research. Now, what is research? Now, there are different definitions that is provided for by several academic institutions that is also available in the internet on the definition on what is research. By the way, if you are watching this one in your uh, laptop or probably in your cell phone, you can actually scan on the QR code that is displayed in your screen and you will be redirected to a website that is the source of our definitions and each of the definitions that is provided in this particular slide. So the QR code is provided for you to be guided so that you will be able to double check whether or not we are talking about the, the, the exact definition provided for by the source upon which we are taking these particular definitions provided in the slide displayed in the screen right now. Now, research is a careful or diligent search. Research is a studious inquiry or examination, especially investigation or experimentation aimed at the discovery and interpretation of facts, revisions of accepted theories or laws in light of the new facts or practical applications of such new or revised theories or laws, and collecting information about a particular subject. So by this definition, we could understand that research is a process of investigation that seeks to discover and interpret facts, something that we can get out of an investigation, the fact. And based on the fact that is gathered from a, an experiment or an investigation, there are new set of facts that may invalidate those facts that have been regarded true and correct in the past, meaning through research we will be able to advance knowledge and understand on a wider concept and an, on a wider context things that have been held to be true and correct in the past and might be wrong and incorrect in the future. So research seeks to understand more on things we don't yet understand. Another definition is research is defined as a creation of new knowledge and or use of existing knowledge in a new and creative way so as to generate new concepts, methodologies, and understanding. This could include synthesis and analysis of previous researches to the extent that it leads to a new and creative outcome. In this particular definition, we can understand that research is not limited to discovery of factual things, but also generation of new concepts and methodologies, new kind of understanding, new kind of perspective out of the researches that have been published in the past in order to create new creative outcomes. Another definition is research is a diligent and systematic inquiry or investigation into a subject in order to discover, 
revised facts, theories, and applications. Sounds like the same, but of course, quite different in essence. One thing that is most important in these definitions, it actually provides, it provides an idea that research is a systematic inquiry, a form of investigations, or a form of investigation on a particular subject matter that a researcher wish to discover. And then we have another definition of research, and it is defined as a detailed study of a subject, especially and in order to discover new information or search a new understanding. Now, why do we do research? For students, it teaches how to systematically organize and approach things, analyze issues and critical thinking before subscribing to those particular issues. Now, this is the reason why fake news and false news actually goes viral in an instance because people don't have the capacity or probably don't have the mindset of research they don't verify the information that they watch or they read on the social media platforms and they just share it and believe the content of that particular information even if there is no verifiability on that particular set of information being shared in social media and so Students in research are taught how to systematically analyze those things so that they will not just easily believe on things that is published or things that is written somewhere else, but they have to verify those information whether or not it is true and correct. For the general public, the, the purpose why we need to do research is it advance the total development of the society it increases the understanding on things that we don't understand yet meaning all of the advancement in the society today is a product of research the phones that you have the cars that you drive the internet that made possible the way we communicate in this modern time is a product of research and so research actually create a holistic development of the society and through research we also discover new idea and new perspective new theories and laws and we are able to generate new knowledge out of research and we begin to understand things that we don't understand yet in the past because we continue to ask questions and seek evidences that will lead to answering those particular questions. Now, what are the applications of research on a practical sense? In the light of the current pandemic, the research or research played a very important role in the production of vaccines that enables the human body to resist against the corona virus these researchers have put their lives in line of danger of being infected with the virus in order to produce vaccines that will free the world from the fear of covid 19. research made vaccines possible it enables the human body to resist against diseases and not only COVID-19 vaccines but all vaccines and medicines and and other processes in the medical field is done through extensive research by experimentation and observation and clinical trials. Research in this particular context is applied on a practical sense. Now what are the different research orientations? What are the different research paradigms? Number one, we have positivism. By the way, if you want to know and exactly read the sources of our discussion in this particular slide, 
there is a QR code that is displayed in your screen and you can scan on that one and you will be redirected to a website that provides the information that we are uh, discussing in this particular slide. Now, positivism. A single truth exists that can only be explained by a law-like causal generalization. Knowledge is objective and is based on observable and measurable facts and relationship. It can predict behavior. Now, this positivist kind of research orientation is the reason why the big tech companies are able to predict the behavior of its uh, users. This is because of consolidating all of the data and information of anything that you do online and then understand the patterns that you are doing online and eventually feed you a lot of ads, advertisings that will match your desires, your activities, and the things that you do in life. And so positivist perspective actually is grounded on the facts, is grounded on the data that can be gathered out of the events that has happened in the past and predict the relationship between all of these facts to things that might occur or happen in the future. Next is critical realism. Knowledge about the social interaction versus physical facts should be approached differently. Researchers can thus use a variety of methods while saying or staying as objective as possible. It leads to explanatory explanations and provide insights into antecedents and causes. It encourages methodological diversity. Next is pragmatism. Knowledge should be relevant and useful to practice. Research should provide solutions to practical problems. It encourages a variety of methodological appro approaches in which the problem are given specific solutions. The research approach of pragmatism is more or less prevalent into situations and contexts of a business institution and the field of management. Because in the management perspective, we have to provide solutions to problems. And so we are more of a pragmatist kind of a researcher. Our approach to research is more or less a pragmatic perspective. Next is, we have interpretivism. The context or context is important and knowledge is thus subjective. Concepts and theories cannot provide richness and are too simplistic. A variety of explanations and interpretation are encouraged where meanings are more important. It provides context-specific and in-depth understanding of specific phenomenon or something that is not yet clear to our understanding. Most probably, researches on literature and understanding literatures and literary works are more or less in the context of interpretivism. Next is postmodernism. Truth and knowledge is based on dominant ideologies and discourses. Researchers are encouraged to be reflexive and examine dominant discourses and reveal the hidden meanings of things. Those are the different research orientations. I hope you learned something. See you on the next video discussion.